Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of our weekend challenge in Project Zomboid. We are picking up here with Mark Turner in our Winter is Coming challenge. We're currently at day 10, the end of day 10. Doing alright, it's been a little slow going. Uh, last episode we did find some rabbits uh, that we are hoping to be able to breed uh, soon here so we can make some, uh, get their pelts or start breeding them, get the pelts, and then make some warm clothes. Uh, first, we're going to need to find a animal husbandry book. Uh, that might be hard to come by, seeing as how the entirety of Mulder seems to be completely overrun with zombies. Uh, more so than even usual. Uh, but today, uh, a little bit of a different episode. I already recorded uh, about an episode's worth of us going down uh to the highway to look for uh, some books so I'm gonna cut here and uh, you guys are gonna watch that in the meantime I'm gonna be making some uh, wooden buckets uh, for us to use to go start collecting some water uh, from the well uh, that is uh, just north of here uh, so let me uh, make those buckets I'll show you how they're made uh, at some point during this episode but right now we're gonna cut over to earlier where we headed down to uh, the highway. We're gonna head out, uh, try and hit up maybe a warehouse uh, or two on the highway. Uh, but before we do that, we do have a uh, set of binoculars here that we're gonna pick up and one of our dog whistles. We're gonna go try and find a husky or a Bernese so we can throw some packs on uh, the dogs. Try that out, that's a new addition in the Hydrocraft mod. So let's head out into our little backyard area here. Should work just fine. And use our binoculars to search for stray dogs. And let's see if we can get lucky and find something today. So it'd be pretty cool if we can bring a pack dog with us. Now there are a lot of different breeds of dogs, so the chances of us finding a Bernese or a Husky right off the bat might be pretty slim. All right, German Shepherd. Cool, nonetheless. Oh, look at that, a husky. We found one. All right, well, let's try a couple more times and see what else we can find. I wasn't actually expecting to find one. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We found a husky. And a corgi. Awesome. So let's keep our animals inside just because it's so cold out. Put them, it doesn't really matter where we put them. We put the corgi down here. German Shepherd right there. We do have a extra hiking bag uh, in our secondary bag here. So we're gonna try and use this. I think we just need rope. Let's open up our crafting menu. And I believe it's over in farming here. So we're in our farming tab. Let's put in dog. There we go, attach bags to dog. Husky, female. We're gonna need a rope. Oh, we're gonna need two big hiking bags. I thought we could use normal hiking bags. Hmm. We're gonna need two bags, apparently. Now, I don't think we've actually picked up a, another hiking bag. We do have rope. Let's grab one of those. And let me just double check these shelves. Probably could do one or two bags. Maybe it is just two. Sandbag. This might not work. We need to keep our eye out for another uh, couple of hike, big hiking bags, I guess. Okay. Well, let's keep this uh, husky in our backpack for now. Same with the rope. I guess we can't use the normal hiking bag. We'll hold on to it. In case we find a second one, maybe it may still work. But let's uh, let's see. It's 12:40. We might be able to get down to the highway uh, before nightfall here. It's freezing out right now. Oh, and actually, we have a Shiba Inu as well that we picked up. Okay, didn't realize that. Let's put him down. Quite a few dogs. We'll keep our binocular and whistle on us. Why not? And I think we'll head back down to the highway. We seem to be pretty safe up here. 
Uh, regarding the generator we found last episode, we had a uh, suggestion from a viewer to consider, uh, before we uh, decide where we're going to put the generator, consider that uh, it, it's going to make a lot of noise when we turn it on. I never even thought about that, but it makes sense, I guess. So we get a little choppy here. And uh, we're obviously going to need to be able to fuel it. I don't think we have any jerry cans yet. And uh, the nearest gas station is quite far away from uh, either McCoy's or the farm. Uh, so we might want to stockpile a few jerry cans first. I'm not sure how long one will last us. That might be something we want to do. Uh, actually, let's go up this way, I think. So it's also something for us to look out for as well while we're looking for these hiking bags and uh, animal husbandry book. So I'll cut back uh, once we're back on the highway, guys. There are a set of storage units just below here that we're going to check out, or attempt to check out. Things look pretty clear on the road today, which is nice. Definitely wasn't expecting it to be uh, this calm over here. Starting to see a couple zombies down there by the fence, but uh, up here we seem to be in the clear. We might be able to actually make it into the compound without being noticed. It's a relatively warm afternoon. Only cold temperatures right now. Oh no, there's a bunch of them. Okay. Well, we do have a sledgehammer, don't we? Oh no, we don't. Where's our uh, sledgehammer? I guess we left it back at uh, up the base. Damn it. I'm usually pretty good about remembering to bring that. Hmm. I was just going to break through one of the uh, fences up here. Well, we might uh, might leave that for a while. Let's see where those zombies end up. Oh, there's another, oh yeah, there's quite a few big groups here. All right, let's take out this guy. These few. Oh yeah, there's quite a few up here. Hmm. Well, maybe we should uh, put that aside and attempt to go into the residential area. Maybe everyone's up here and has moved out. I doubt it. <laughs> Considering how many were there the last time we ran through. Okay, I think we're alright to run here. Hmm. Those look like there's quite a few here still. Our best bet for finding uh, the recipe book for the animal husbandry will probably be in the homes, just on bookshelves. There is a elementary school, an adult uh, learning center down the highway of fair ways. But I don't know what our chances of actually making it down there alive would be. Things are looking not too bad around this warehouse today. Hmm. Just thinking of what to... We've got to build quite a few uh, rings of walls, I think, to make this uh, secure for us enough to live there, considering how many zombies are around this area. Let's see if we can just cut across here. What the situation is. Here's some rustling. Oh god. Okay, that's a pretty big group. Should have went down a little bit further. I don't know how feasible it's going to be to loot homes down here. Oh god. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, does not look good at all. What we could do is... Do we have a pistol on us? We have a shotgun but no ammo. Here, let's uh... Let's draw a bunch of people up. Try and drag them up the highway, maybe. 
We can circle back through the trees. Let's try that. It almost seems futile though. Dragging zombies away when they're only gonna respawn once the cell gets empty. Uh, and no beta blockers with Mr. Turner. Let's drag this group up. If we can. Getting pretty tired. We can drag them up past uh, this warehouse and we can always fall back in there to rest. Alright you guys, come with me. We don't, we don't have any weapons, eh? Or no ammo at least. Really need some shotgun shells. Alright, let's grab some more MRE here. We have, oh, we don't have any there. Is it in our backpack? Do we don't bring any food with us? Box of MREs, okay. Let's unbox that. It's gonna weigh us down. Actually, that might not be a good idea. I don't know, it's okay. Box of MREs. Yes, yeah, so I think each one is like half a unit. So that'd be 10, 10 units of weight. Just make sure all these guys continue to come up. Our glitched out axe from last episode that had like 20 names. It was broken when uh, I logged back in. So I think uh, it's rectified its broken situation. Fix itself. All right, let's see if we can drag him up a little bit further. Make sure these guys all come up. So we're back to just a plain old vanilla axe right now. Several more kills on this one and we'll get a name on it as well. Okay, we'll try that. For that group. Let's see if that works. We can check to see if we left a sledgehammer in here. It's possible, I guess. Anyone's come back in here, I don't know. Oh, it looks alright. I want to say that there is another sledgehammer in here. Can't remember for sure. Well, maybe not. We shouldn't waste too much time here. We should take advantage of the uh, space that we made. Try and sneak back down. Alright, so that group is up there now. That's alright. How's it looking down here? There's a few in the wood. Oh, there's still quite a few down here. Hmm. Let's check the highway again. But if we have a, a sledgehammer, maybe next episode. We'll go back and grab that. We can open up one of these fences on this side. And get in through uh, through that way. Let's just go for a run. Maybe we can call out some zombies. Get them all away from uh, this area as much as possible. My god, there's a lot. Holy oh, shit. All right, everyone, come away. Oh my god. There is a field down here we might be able to drag them into. I don't know how long they're gonna lock onto us for. Might buy the past this house of pancakes. I guess it's not an IHOP, it's a place of crepes, something like that. So maybe we can drag them all. We've done this before. Just drag them all into this uh, field here. But I don't know how good that'll work in build 32. 
The way zombies move around now. Can. There's so many. Really need a, a gun, some loud noises. This might be a really bad idea. <laughs> now that I'm actually doing it. Right, keep coming, guys. down into the field and I'll try and uh, run around a building hey you hey you hey you yeah, I don't think this is gonna work they don't follow us for long enough yeah, there's just so many down here oh, they're coming at least oh and they're moving down around this way. We could make it around this before they... Oh no. They lock it onto us. Oh, there's so many. Hmm. Well, let's see how far down we can run here. We've got a few minutes left in the episode. Ridiculous. The police station is down here. I don't know how lucky I feel about trying to get in there, though. Or is that the bank? That might be the bank. Mark is just freaking out. Here's the gas station. That is a long way to come down for, uh, for gas. Oh my god, look at all these zombies. This is ridiculous. What were they thinking? Making this uh, challenge mode. This is madness. Alright, we've got moderate exertion. We'll be able to sprint for a little while to go here. Motel. Yeah, this is, uh, this is getting pretty sketchy, guys. A real big circle pit. Oh, crap. I wonder if we can sneak into the gas station and find a jerry can. Would that be possible at all, do you think? I don't know, it's so surrounded. I don't think that'd be possible. Oof. Oh, my lord. If we drag a bunch of them maybe up this road? Not sure where this road leads to. I think eventually it'll take us back into McCoy's. Alright guys, so this is how we're going to make our uh, wooden buckets that we're going to hopefully use to gather some water up at the uh, farm north of here. What we're going to need is a... Well, actually we can just open up our crafting menu here go over to carpentry so first we're gonna make a wooden ring and to make a wooden ring we're gonna need wood blocks and a saw to make a wood blocks you just need a saw and some logs already made some uh, wood blocks for ourselves so let's go ahead and make a wooden ring craft uh, let's do one at a time here craft a few alright so we got a few wooden rings now and let's see here what do we need to do with this? The bucket will need two planks, two nails, and then the wooden rings. So let's close this for now. Uh, we could actually just, I guess we could just make some more planks here, right right now. Right here, right now. We'll saw up these logs. Good. And there's a bunch of new options for us to make. Make an axe handle if we wanted to, but we want to make these wooden buckets. We're gonna need one thing of rope, or hammer, or saw, Wooden ring, two nails, two planks. Let's go ahead and craft one. We're probably going to need some more uh, rope here. I would assume, as we pick up all these items, make that. Yeah, let's see if we have any uh, 
any more rope back at our base. In between episodes, I have uh, noticed some more zombies congregating around our compound. Uh, they're okay right there right now. Uh, so I started building an extra layer of defense here at the door. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to actually go through that door right now because they're kind of close. But I'm going to build little uh, enclosures around each door, I think, eventually. Let's see if we can find some more rope here. We might have a couple more pieces in our storage area back here. We haven't found too much. So let's see what we've got here. We've got bungee cord. We've got two things of rope here. And some thick rope. Okay, so we can break the thick rope down. I'm not even sure. Can we make... What else can we make here? Can we make our own rope? Let's see. I know you can. What would it be under? Yeah, make rope from thick rope, okay. Could also make rope from sheet rope. Good to know. We can make thread from floss. I thought we could make rope from thread, but maybe not anymore. That might have changed. Okay, well. Oh, we can craft a slingshot too. Cool. And uh, duct tape pouches. Can we put the duct tape pouches on an owl's bag? I think it's just the hiking bags. Getting distracted here. Okay, let's close this up here. We got our rope. I think uh, three buckets. They each weigh four. I think once they're filled with water, so that'll probably be enough uh, for us. Let's head out oh, up the store. Head back outside. Oh, getting, getting our doorways mixed up here. This is the one we want. So we'll make a couple more buckets. And then we're going to start the long walk up to uh, the farm with the well. There is a cabin out in the woods, in the middle of the woods in that direction with the well as well, but I've never been up there. And uh, I assume things are fairly overgrown right now. Let's saw these up. We're going to need some more planks. We're going to make these uh, uh, saw. We'll saw all those up. We're going to make these buckets. So we'll cut back once we have all of our buckets. And then uh, we'll start heading up there. All right, we've got our buckets. I put them in our backpack. We have one more rope still, so we could make another bucket if we wanted to. We're going to head up, start the journey up to the farm with the well. We're going to have to head out all the way this way. And there'll be a road that'll take us directly there. I believe it'll be this road. Is this even a road? So we go up here, across, and then up. It's a little bit of a maze to get out of here. I think this is the way. Yeah, so here's the other lumber yard. We'll pass this, and we'll take a left at the top, cut across. Yeah, here we go at the stop sign. Head down here. It's a fair number of zombies up here, too. Although we got uh, enough energy to outrun them, so... We'll just pass everyone. The reason we're going up here to get water is... Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be raining at all uh, in this winter challenge mode. Uh, so we will build some rain collectors just in case it does. But we should be prepared for it not raining. And now uh, we should have our own... Uh, source of water, and if we're not going to be moving up to the farm with the well, we should uh, start making some trips and stockpiling water collectors, like uh, buckets or bottles, uh, that kind of stuff. Alright, here's the uh, intersection. The traffic lights down there. If we just head straight up here and follow this road around a few turns, uh, eventually we will get up to the farm. So I'm going to edit here, and then we'll come back once we are in the vicinity. So we're passing the uh, clear cut right now. If you go down here, uh, you could make your way to the uh, uh, cabin in the woods with the well, but I have no idea how far down we'd have to go. So 
we'll just stick with going to the farm for now. All right, we are almost there. We've made it to uh, the next turn in the road. Haven't come across any zombies up here, not even any. There's a, a blood patch down here, but other than that, no sign of any zombie activity up here. Which leads me to believe it would be a good place to set up a camp, but uh, for the fact that it's extremely far from everything else on the map. There is a small community of about maybe eight or ten houses up here. Uh, the Pony Pony Rama, I think it's called. Uh, but that's about it. There will be a bit of a path, a kind of a shortcut going up to the farm. I'm not sure if we'll be able to spot it out with the, all the overgrowth. Uh, but there is supposed to be a path that goes up there. Otherwise, we'll just be heading up and following the, continuing to follow the road. Uh, add a few more minutes onto the journey. But... Uh, at least that way we'll know for sure that we're getting there. We won't get lost in the woods, I guess. Oh, I think this... This looks like it's a path. I think that's it. As you can tell, there's a... Uh, the grass is so tall everywhere else that... Uh, it doesn't look like there's much snow out here. There, there still is. But I think uh, since there's an obvious looking path here that this most likely leads up to the farm, so we're going to take it. We're going to take our chances here. Didn't think it would stick out this much, but uh, I got a good feeling about this. So it shouldn't be too much further now. Oh, and there we go. We can see the uh, first signs of the farm up here. We're very tired, so we should probably slow down to a walk now. Just in case there are, there must be zombies up here. You would think that maybe with the spawning system, maybe they haven't spawned in yet. Maybe maybe we can get lucky. So first thing we'll do is try and get inside and rest up. I don't see any sign of zombies except for the the zombie music, which just kicked in. Top that. It's all overgrown. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Might have a good chance of maybe even finding a, some animal husbandry books up here. Looks like it's the same layout as the other farmhouse. Oh, and it's open. I left it unlocked. Alright, let's do a sweep. Hopefully there's no zombies. Yeah, it might be a bit bigger actually than the other farmhouse we were at last episode. Alright, we won't bother going into any more rooms. I think we'll just rest in the living room here, catch our breath. And uh, here, let's go all the way down this corner just in case. Let's rest up. So we left the uh, McCoy Logging Company around 8.30 in the morning or 9 o'clock and it's now 4 o'clock so it took a good part of a day to get up here let's get our looting windows back opened a sheet we will take that back with us let's get our hiking bag equipped here the I guess we, we could look for the uh, the well right away but we're in here, we might as well search it. More nails, good. Pears, awesome. Any food is welcome. Oh, some salami. That lasts forever, no expiration date. Thanks to the expiration date mod we have enabled. Bleach. Right, let's fill up our water bottle. Can we? Oh, let's unpack our wooden buckets. Let's see if it gives us an option here. We'll fill them up at the well. Let's just see if it gives us an option. Yeah, fill wooden bucket. Awesome. Okay, let's head upstairs. Just clear.
clear this house. Oh, and a raincoat. Nice. So I think we're going to wear this, actually. Uh, actually, no, it's probably not even any warmer than our sweater, is it? No. But if it does rain, I guess we're prepared now. So put that uh, sweater in our bag. Some luggage. Toilet cleaner, tampons, bath towel. Nothing in there. Some pants, nothing. Anything over here? No. Well, there's a couple things of food, but that's about it in the farmhouse. Okay, let's head over to the well. Get these buckets filled up. Let's check this last bathroom. Some floss. Take that. More tampons. More sheets. Cotton balls. Diapers. Uh, can we use those as bandages? We might be able to. Okay. Let's head out. Now that we're up here, there shouldn't be... If there aren't any zombies up here right now, there shouldn't be any while we're walking around. So I don't think they spawn in while you're in a cell. Nothing in there. Check this shed. Most of the uh, buildings have been open up here. Okay. Broken glass. Might actually want to just break down the door too to get some hinges. Oh, and another generator up here. Okay, so both farms have generators. A fishing rod. I don't know if we'll get around to using that down in Muldra. Not much for uh, fishing down there. Nothing else. All right, I'll break this door down. Take the doorknob and the hinges back with us. Might as well get this one as well. The well should just be up here a little further. There we go. That's enough for at least one door. Get the two hinges there. Right, so there's a fenced off area here, and I think the well is up in here. Back in the corner, is it? Oh no, it's over here. Here we go. It's a little overgrown with trees. So let's fill up our uh, wooden buckets. And we'll fill up our water bottle. Okay, so these wooden buckets each weigh four. I'll take up the rest of our inventory probably. And I should look into exactly how much water they do hold. I assume it's a significant amount more than uh, our water bottle, seeing as how our water bottle only weighs, what is it, 0.8? So it looks like it's probably at least three times heavier. I haven't seen these crops before. I guess they're not actually crops you can search. It's like a wheat field. Okay, well, I think that'll do it for today, guys. I'll head back down to McCoy's. And uh, at least we know about how long it takes to get up here for future water runs. We'll see how long these three buckets last us. Hopefully uh, a little while. And uh, we also have uh, a few more uses out of all the uh, plumbing fixtures in our warehouses. Uh, so we should be good for water for a while now. I would hope. But yeah, that'll do it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave me a comment below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.